in an international system like the one that we have, that Japan and China and the United States operates in, it quickly becomes very clear that the distinguishing characteristic of that system is that states are the principal actors and that there's no higher authority that sits above those states. In the language of international relations theory, we say the system is anarchic. It's anarchy. It's anarchy in the sense that it's the opposite of hierarchy. There's no higher authority that sits above states. In other words, if a state gets into trouble in the international system, there's no night watchman, no policeman that it can turn to for help. Furthermore, one of the principal problems that states face in this system is that they can never know the intentions of other states. If I said to you, what will be the intentions of China in the year 2020? Or what will be the intentions of China in the year 2030? You could not tell me, because you do not know who will be running China in those years. You do not even know who will be running Japan in the year 2020 or in the year 2030. Therefore, you have no idea what the intentions of China or Japan or the United States or Germany or Russia or any other country will be in the future. Intentions are uncertain. That means that all states operate in a system where there's no night watchman and where they cannot be certain of the intentions of other states. Well, the problem that you run into is what happens if you run into a really powerful state that has bad intentions towards you and there's no higher authority that you can turn to for help. You are in deep trouble. Therefore, states tend to fear each other. They tend to worry that a powerful state might sometime come after them and they'll have no recourse because there's no higher authority, no police that they can call. Now when you operate in a system like that, you very quickly figure out that the best way to survive is to be the most powerful state in the system by far. Because if you're the most powerful state in the system, nobody else fools around with you. Nobody else thinks about attacking you. As I say to my fellow Americans when I give this talk, how many of you go to bed at night worrying about Canada or Mexico or Guatemala attacking the United States? The answer is nobody worries about that. And the reason they don't worry about it is because the United States is so powerful. You want to be much more powerful than all of your neighbors because that is the best way to survive in the international system.